The UNESCO Japan Prize rewards projects that practice education for sustainable development, or ESD, in an innovative and exceptional way. Every year it is awarded to three organizations or individuals from around the world. For 2018, the winners are the Namib Desert Environmental Education Trust from Namibia, the Let's Do It Foundation from Estonia, and Yayasan Kalabia from Indonesia. Nardit was chosen for its Nardit Center on Namib brand. Located deep in the Namib Desert, it offers hands-on immersion in ESD for school children, educators, parents, as well as for entire community groups. Focusing on energy, waste and water, Nardit also helps young people overcome poverty. Visitors learn firsthand about biodiversity, a sustainable lifestyle, and the balance between humans and nature. Learning means not just seeing and hearing, but doing and living. Nardit Center has already hosted and trained over 13,000 children and adults. I feel very amazed. I learned how to save energy, I how to save water, I how to cook on a solar pan. It's very exciting and I have to learn new things and to teach others about what I have learned here at Nadit. Let's Do It is awarded for its projects World Cleanup Day and Keep It Clean. These grassroots initiatives address the global problem of mismanaged waste and stimulate social and environmental change. Local networks organize cleanups all over the world and help communities develop long-term waste management plans. A mobile app maps waste and supports individual initiatives that educate on sustainable lifestyles. In 10 years, World Cleanup Day has evolved from a national cleanup to a worldwide movement with millions of volunteers in 150 countries. So a program for um, segregation at source, recycling, has to be there because this change of mindset, behavior and trash is not just automatic, it has to be, it has to be lived. Yayasan Kalabia wins the prize for its program Environmental Education for the Heart of the Coral Triangle. The Calabia is a 34-meter-long ship that brings interactive marine conservation education to more than 100 remote coastal villages of West Papua. Staffed with local educators, this floating platform offers intensive education programs to children and their communities. Through small group lessons, field trips and games, participants acquire knowledge and appreciation of natural resources and build responsibility to preserve the unique ecosystems around them. I've heard so many stories from the parents of the kids who participate in the education program about the behavior changes they are seeing. This does not only apply to the kids, but also to the parents themselves. Funded by the Government of Japan, the prize supports the UNESCO Global Action Programme on ESD. The programme and the prize aim to incite and scale up ESD actions that transform individuals and societies.